A full year later, we finally have a new trailer for Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. Let's do this. I am ready. Oh, it's a trailer. I can hear you being quiet, Mom. I, um, hope I didn't ice your game, man. No one my age says those words in that order. It's just hard to see my little man not being my little boy all the time. Yeah. For years, I've been taking care of this little boy. Making sure he is loved, that he feels like he belongs wherever he wants to be. He wants to go out into the world and do great big things. Not bad, kid. And what I worry about most... I love you, Miles. ...is they won't look out for you like us. Miles! Wanna get out of here? Wherever you go from here, you have to promise to take care <coughs> of that little boy for me. Make sure he never forgets where he came from. And he never doubts that he is loved. <coughs> and he never lets anyone tell him that he doesn't belong there. You gotta promise, Miles. I promise. Who do you think you are? Really? We are supposed to be the good guys. <laughs> we are. Real quick before I let you know what I thought about it, tell me what you thought down below in the comment section. Also, you can find out my thoughts on the other Spider-Man movies, including the first Spider-Verse movie right up here in this video. I gotta rewatch that trailer to pause on a couple of those frames to see all the Spider-Man in there, and then I'll let you know what I thought. Alrighty, so the first Spider-Verse movie is just an awesome Spider-Man movie as it's super comic booky, nerdy, and multiverse-y before everyone else was going multiverse. It's a great animated movie in that it does something interesting and unique with the animation style, so it stands out. And then it's just a really good movie. So the fact that they're doing a sequel to it right off the bat has me very excited, but also that they're they're taking their time to do it, to do it right, and to take it to that next level and go completely bananas with it. They've talked about using a bunch of different animation styles, which makes sense in light of the nature of the story, what they're doing. And then they give us this trailer, which doesn't give us a much plot at all. I mean, you combine this with the teaser we got last year, plus this one, all it seems that we kind of know is that these Spider-Men are chasing after our, our heroes and they're not quite sure why. And it's unclear who thinks who is the good guy in it. What's the conflict? We, we still have no idea. Even in this trailer, they spend the first half doing kind of a montage of the first one of seeing his mother's perspective on Miles and the changes that have happened to him since becoming Spider-Man and how he's lost his, some of his childhood innocence in becoming the hero. And she wants him to, to be able to keep a hold of that. before. And then, of course, he'll get swept away in this adventure. So it's kind of fascinating. You got now two trailers a year apart. And they haven't told us a lot about what's kind of going on in the story here, but man, when they said we're going all out on the Spider-Verse thing, they start, they just go to that one shot where it starts zooming out. And there's just like, like you're just, you just, you're looking around and you see something and then another thing pops up and you just and you realize, oh, there's there are three over there too. And there's so many and then it cuts to the next shot and it's being chased by all these Spider-Men and it's every rendition. I can't wait actually until my kids get home. My, my son, you plays the PlayStation game all the time and loves all the skins. <laughs> he knows which skin is everything. And so 
he'll be going through it like, oh, that's this one, this one, this one. And then he's going to want to play Spider-Man PlayStation 4 all night long using all the different skins that he saw in the trailer. But um, I can't wait to see this movie. And I'm interested. I'm, I find it fascinating how much they're kind of holding back on what the the plot is and what kind of the inciting incident that launches us off across the Spider-Verse. But um, other interesting detail in here is that it doesn't say part one. I don't know if they changed the title of the second one, but they split into two movies and it's Cross the Spider-Verse part one. And then this trailer right here just says Cross the Spider-Verse. So I don't know if that's meaningful, but it is something to note. And maybe you guys know more about that. Let me know down below. Can't wait to check this one out. Tell me what you thought down below. Check out my other Spider-Man thoughts right over there. Thank you so much for watching. Keep talking movies and TV too much. Bye-bye.